Scorpio, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 3rd of March. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my Time to Shine Oracle decks. So, starting off with the teacup tarot cards, your overall energy. 17, the star, one of the best cards in the whole deck. This is success. This is achievement. This is recognition. This is you wishing on a star wishes coming true and you stepping into the spotlight. So what a great way to start your week. Your help or your hurdle. Card five, unity, is all about working well together with other people. It's all about discussions. It's teaching. It's mentoring. Everybody bringing something different to the table for the benefit of everybody else. Working out new ways of doing things sometimes. But it's very much a card of meetings, conversations and discussions. What do you need to focus on? Balance. The Knight of Teacups comes flying in on the motorbike. Now, the Knights are all very fast moving energy. That's why I drew them on a motorbike. And the Knight of Teacups comes in and says, stay balanced, stay emotionally balanced. Just go steady. Take things a step at a time and think them all through. So no rush decisions, no rash decisions. Talk it over, think it through. Just go steady. How can we help ourselves? Life experience. This is about making positive life changes. And here we are, look, the sand castle that she's built is washing away. But she's taking from it all these pearls of wisdom and making the positive changes. So very much a case of learning from experience and putting those experiences into practice, using that wisdom, using that knowledge. What have you learned from the past? Putting all of that into new plans, taking that with you. Pulling it all together, King of Wands steps up. This is wonderful. An authority figure in the deck, the King of Wands is successful. The King of Wands is confident. The King of Wands has learned how to be successful. Very entrepreneurial, very businesslike, um, very enthusiastic and quite ambitious. It's that sort of driven, positive energy. And the King of Wands here is very happy to share all the knowledge that they've learned and all the experience with other people. So this could be you stepping into this role, helping people with your experience and showing them a how to plan to get moving forward. Or it could be somebody coming in with the experience that you need to help you, helping you with a plan to move forward. The outcome, the strength card, lovely. This says just be assertive, stand up for who you are. If you're assertive and you're kind at the same time, you're going to get a lot further, a lot faster. And this card says you've got this. This is absolutely fine. So just looking at your tarot cards, success, um, which is coming true, recognition and appreciation. Talk things over. This is mentoring, it's meetings, it's teaching, it's gathering information and finding out a new way to move forward. Stay balanced, stay focused, learn from experience and use that experience to get the momentum to move you forward. So it's really quite... Quite a strong reading for you this week, Scorpio. Let's find out some more. Six of action. You're clearly going to do that. That's lovely. That's the victory card. Victory and enjoying the results of your hard work. The 21 of wisdom, the world in traditional tarot, is success. 
completion of one project and it's the start of a new one. It's advancement and success, but definitely reason to celebrate a job well done. The Six of Wisdom, the Lover's Card. So this is about choices and decisions. This is what you need to focus on. This is coming with the Knight of Teacups card. So think your decisions through carefully. Look at all your options and make decisions from the heart. What feels right for you? What do you know is the right thing to do? How can you help yourself? The One of Wisdom. We have got three major arcana cards here. This is a very powerful reading. Here comes the Magician next to this Life Experience card. And literally, the Magician says, time to shine your light. You have all you need. You are ready. You can do it. So there isn't a moment of self-doubt here. You are ready. You can do it. The one of emotion is lovely. This is something new. It's an ace card in traditional tarot. And this is you trusting that intuition. But generally, this is happiness, joy, lovely, positive emotions coming in. The start of something beautiful. Happiness, joy, optimism, positivity. That's pulling it all together. And your final outcome card, the two of emotion, the next card, Again, it's about discussion. It's about conversation. It's good relationships, but it's talking things over. And you really do this week need to be crystal clear in your communication with other people, especially since this unity card has come in. So there could be good, uh, lovely meetings coming in, uh, reason to discuss things with other people, getting your plan together. And you need to be really clear and make sure you understand and people understand you as well. So pulling it all together, what a week, Scorpio. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcana cards. The angels are talking in loud voices to you. Strong messages coming through for your benefit to help you. This is the universe having your back and helping you move forward. Success and recognition, talking things over, get your plan together and take advice if you need to or step up into that leadership role to help other people. Be ready to learn from experience. Put all of that into practice. Stay balanced. Just take it steady. Because the success is here. You've got the victory card. It's the end of one cycle. It's the start of another. Advancement and success. You need to be mindful of your choices. Take your time making your decisions. Talk things over and then... You are ready for happiness, joy, optimism. I really get a feeling from this reading here, a lovely, fresh new start. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. It's free, supporting my channel. It's really appreciated. So take care of yourselves. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.